Hey guys, I'm here with a quick get ready with me. If you guys want to see how I achieve this look start to finish, stay tuned. So I did moisturize and prime. As you can see, I am looking ratchet. <laughs> so I'm just cleaning up my eyebrows. Everything that I'm using will be listed below if I don't mention it. But I'm going to be priming my eyelids with the Urban Decay Primer Potion and setting that with my face powder. Going into the Kylie Cosmetics, the bronze palette, I'm going to be using the color Goldstone as my transition color. Applying this using a Morphe E27. Now I'm using the color obsidian in the crease. I'm just going in a little bit below where I apply that transition color. Then I am going to be applying the lower third of my lid, tiger eye, but I do want to spray some Fix Plus on my brush before I do apply. This is just going to make this color pop. I do love this palette, but I was slightly disappointed with the pigmentation in this color. So yeah, this is just going to help up the amp. Now in the outer V, I'm going to be applying quartz. This shade is just gorgeous. It applies like so beautifully. It's nice and creamy and I'm just in love with it. I'm sorry, I said quartz. I mean um, bronzite. To deepen up that outer V, I'm going in with Hematite in a Sony Cash Chic brush and I'm just going to carve out that outer V. I'm not going to come too much, like too far in. Too much in? What the heck? too far in I'm just gonna blend that out as well just because I don't want it to be like a really harsh line I want it to be subtle but smoky in the outer edges if you get what I mean so I'm gonna be priming my face with both the Smashbox primer and this poreless professional by benefit and then of course I'm gonna have to color correct because I have some spots that I need to cover and my eyes underneath have been looking a little cray cray so I'm gonna be using the NARS skin tint this is in the color Malaga I do love this stuff it's like freaking great it has great coverage you would never even think that it was like a skin tint and I'm blending this out using my Morphe M439 I love how this applies and I honestly have to say that I miss her because I haven't been using her I've been using my beauty blender and I was like you know what let me use my Morphe M439. But I did want to blend it out and just kind of make it look a little bit more flawless. And nothing does the job like my beauty blender does. I have to admit, no matter how many brushes I use, this one always does the job. So I'm just going to make it look a little bit more airbrushed with the beauty blender. And one more coat because you know I'm extra. I'm going to be highlighting using the NARS Creamy Concealer in the color Biscuit. This is one of my favorites. I have to admit, it is a little pricey, but it is just so flawless. I always get compliments when I use this concealer compared to my LA Girl Pro concealer, and I don't know if it's because I always use my LA Girl Pro, or what the deal is, or is it just that bomb. But I love it. So of course I'm highlighting in my per usual spots, my, underneath my eyes, my cupid's bow, the bridge of my nose, and my chin, and my forehead. Just blending that out using my beauty blender and making sure you're going up a little higher towards the inner tear duct just so you can create the illusion of a thinner nose um, without contouring too much with the you know contour powder. I ain't gonna go crazy. So you know I have to go in twice. So. I'm just going to blend that out again, and you know the drill. If I sound like a lazy heifer, it's because I am. I just got done eating, and I'm literally laying down recording this. <laughs> so I'm setting my powder using my Laura Mercier in translucent. I do have a love-hate relationship with this. Some days it's like makes me look so freaking flawless and then some days I just look like oh just not cute Now to contour, I'm going to be using my Tartise palette. This is a collaboration with Makeup Shayla. 
This palette is just gorgeous. It's one of my favorites. But if you're my complexion or lighter, just be a little careful because it can get a little muddy um, if you don't use a light hand. So yeah, I like to mix this because it's a little cooler. I like to mix this with like a warmer bronzer on top and then it looks better. Yeah, it went in a little bit too much and as you can see it looks like I freaking have coals on my face. So I'm going to have to fix that. Now I know some of you are probably thinking, well girl, why are you using a dense brush with this color? But to be honest with you, I feel like it doesn't show up on camera very well unless I use a denser brush. If I use like a more fluffy brush, it looks so gorgeous in person. But on camera, it's just not picking up as well unless I'm using a denser brush and heavy application. Now like always, I'm going to be using my MAC Studio Fix pressed powder in the color NC45 and I am applying this with a real techniques brush I love this stuff guys I know you're probably getting tired of me using this and you're like girl use something else but this is like everything now I am using this blush it is in the color Ravino it is super red and pigmented so you have to be very careful and use a light hand as you can see I went a little bit overboard so I'm gonna have to clean this up <laughs> I look like a clown right now so just apply some of your um, powder from that's left over on your brush. I didn't even re-dip in my powder or anything like that. I just went over it a little bit and blend it out. Of course, I'm going to be setting my face with my Fix Plus. I feel like I need it because all of these products are so drying and I don't like to look cakey. Now back to the eyes. I'm going to be using the color Topaz and I'm going to be applying this on my brow bone. This color is also very pigmented so... If you're like a little bit darker like I am, be careful because you don't want to make it look gray. Now for my bottom lashes, I'm just going to be smoking them out with all of the colors that I use like Goldstone, Tiger Eye, Obsidian, and Hematite. In the inner tear duct, I'm going to be using the color Quartz. This color is way prettier on than in the pan. Now I'm just going to apply some wing liner and curl my eyelashes. I will have those listed below. To make this even more smoky, I'm going to be applying liner to my bottom lash and setting that with Hematite just so it doesn't go anywhere. So next I'm going to be applying the NYX Born to Glow, the liquid illuminator. I love applying this underneath my powder highlighters. It just adds an extra pop and girl, if you haven't tried it, you need to try it ASAP. So of course I'm going to be using the Anastasia Glow Kit. I'm going to be using the bronze, bubbly, and dripping in gold all three together. And of course I sprayed some Fix Plus on my brush just to add some extra glow. You can never have too much glow. I love glow. Glow, 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 glow. Now for lips, I'm going to be using the Godsent Kylie Cosmetic Lip Kit in the color Leo. This shade is to die for. Like, Rihanna has a shade for MAC. Um, it was in her Riri collection. This shade is super similar. But way, 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 way easier to apply. Like it is creamy. As you can see, the liner is just gliding on. Look at that. I could just fill in my lips with this shade so easily. And the Riwi one is like really hard to use. Now the liquid lipstick, I do recommend exfoliating your lips before you apply this because it is going to show every like crack you have in your lips so but this shade is just so pretty i would even honestly love this shade as a gloss like you see how it's glossy right now that shit looks super cute oh my god i was so happy when she kept this from the birthday collection i was like i gotta have that in my life so i'm gonna be cleaning it up using the skin tint that i used um for my foundation and a small just precision brush now make sure you guys stay till the very end so you guys can get the full details on the outfit that I am wearing in the thumbnail and I am just loving it guys just make sure the concealer dries around your lips <sighs> yes setting those brows girl setting those brows so everything that I'm using will be listed in the description box below but for my hair since this is a get ready with me I just went ahead and brushed all my hair back. I slicked my hair down with some Hicks Edge Control. This stuff is bomb.com. If you have not tried it, you are like tripping. 
Um, I did put my hair up in a ponytail and I did put on a black wig cap so everything is nice and flat. So I'm going to be putting on a wig and I will be right back. To make this wig look natural, I'm going to have to clean up my hairline because it doesn't look natural. So I just pull out a bunch of baby hairs, get some of that hicks, and just clean up my edges. This is going to make it look super natural. Then I'm going to clean it up with some concealer and boom. Sexy. <laughs> Oh my god, guys, if you want a video on how I slay this wig, just let me know and I'd be happy to get it to you guys. But I will have a link to the review I did on this wig as well as where you can find it in the link below. Okay guys, so this is the final look. I am wearing a hat from H&M. This hair is from Friday Night Hair. This is the GLS 41. This choker was from a local beauty supply store with like a buck. The top is from Marshalls. And this black top that I'm wearing underneath is from Forever 21. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys like this look, leave a comment below telling me if you guys liked it or not. Um, give this video a thumbs up for sure. Share this with somebody who might find it useful. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you guys. See you next time. So I'm hungry.